Hey everyone, thanks again for joining on Sealed for Good. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know what I tell you to do, do so. Today's episode, how to waterproof concrete. Okay, so let's go down the concrete path. This is a substrate that I think everybody in the building industry has worked with at some time or another. And a lot of the times with waterproofing, we think it's the easiest substrate to get involved with because compared to some of the more synthetic materials that come into the market, there's other specifications required. However, concrete still has its challenges and it's important to understand where those challenges are. Now, firstly, concrete needs to be cured properly before you get on it. But when you are working on concrete, understand that if it's external or internal, a domestic job or a commercial job, how that concrete's been poured. Has it had any release agents on it? Has it had any curing compounds with it? Because these can all impact the adhesion. And understanding that is real simple. A lot of times it's just doing a water droplet test to understand that you can see the water absorbing into concrete. If the water's beating and it's not absorbing into concrete as quickly as it should be, then you know there must be something there to prevent that. So that's gonna take a lot of the surface preparation works you need to do, whether it be grinding, pressure cleaning, blasting. Again, speak to the builder, understand what's happening because you might be there months after the concrete's been laid and want to know what has been impacting the adhesion of the concrete because if you can't adhere to concrete, I've seen the best of our membranes and any other membranes, liquids or sheets, that just peel up really easily because they can't get adhesion to the substrate. But once you've prepared concrete well, it's a real simple one to waterproof. We have a number of products in our range that are suitable for this. So the primers, Gripset GP primer, ideal for porous concrete. The Gripset E60, ideal for when you've got concrete that's got moisture vapour in there, you're trying to prevent it, uh, any of the, the vapour blisters forming, same as the H2O. The other product to consider is the Gripset OP or the Gripset SP Primer, particularly if you've got a dense concrete that's been well prepared, but it might be a higher MPA, and so the water absorption levels lower. You may not use a GP Primer, and you may not need to use the E60 because there's no vapour, but you want to get optimum adhesion. P10 is another option that you've got in that situation with any of those concrete substrates. The data sheets will show you that, but the systems are there for you to follow. And that's the part you've got to get right before you go down the path of a liquid membrane with using the Gripset 38. FC, the 2P system, the BRW range, the HD or the PFN, or the Express Late, whatever you have that you're going to go over the top with. It, and we've had this question before, I'm using an outside of the P39 system, do I have to use the same primers? Outside can have different challenges because of the fact that that concrete might have been poured differently than what's internal. Again, all about surface preparation. If you have things like spider crack, okay, you need to ask the question, is it a live crack? Is it a static crack? And know the difference. And if you don't understand, ask the question. So ask the questions 1-800-650-435, or if you've got a question about an application, just type it in below and we'll be happy to come back to you and answer that. And if you need any of our team around the country to come and see you on site, give them a call. Until next time on Silver Good, I'll see you then. And remember, subscribe.